given this opportunity. It's very easy when you've been teaching for huge amounts of time to just get stayed, to do things the same way because that's the way you've always done them. You know it'll work. Um, and just to carry on doing it that way. Um, and it's been nice to sort of stop and reflect on my teaching. Um, is kind of getting to see my own teaching style, um, which is something that, you know, when, when you only have people coming to Castle perhaps every year or so, they come in, oh, that was great, thank you very much, that's cool. You built this idea in your head of, oh, amazing, all my lessons must be great. And I watched myself in the video and I went, oh my God. <laughs> like, you pick up on the things that you do wrong. You know, like, you just get into this sort of this mindset of, you know, people keep saying I'm good and it must be good. And then actually when you get the chance to sit down and talk with Mark, you look through the video and you analyse what you're doing, you realize actually you know, there's still loads of bits in my practice I can develop and tweak and sort of work on and improve. So that's been sort of a really big thing for me for programmer. As I thought, but it made you be reflective when we were talking about the reflexivity earlier, about actually reacting to what you're seeing and doing that better next time. So I've really found that I've become a lot better at that. For me, having this opportunity to spend the time having the camera in the lesson to look and really take a detailed look at what I'm doing and in that lesson really has been a very beneficial process. I think the difference is that it's given me time to look at different ways, to stop and sort of think actually I could try this and I could try that and that might work in this situation um, and that really difficult class I've got, perhaps this is an alternative way of dealing with that. This. I think the video analysis bit, that's a really important aspect of this which we intend to carry forward um, because you cannot be a participant in what's going on in your classroom and be an observer of it at the same time. So this seems to be really the very best way to do that.